The United Nations has begun work on the Yemeni oil tanker situation. For years now, the crisis-battered country has been fearing a ticking ecological bomb, one that is decaying off its shore. Now, a high-stakes operation is underway to remove over a million barrels of oil from the Yemeni coast. Listen in. Yemen is facing the world's worst humanitarian crisis in the midst of war, poverty and hunger. The United Nations is trying to stop an environmental catastrophe from happening. This is the mighty oil storage vessel FSO Safer. It is anchored in the Red Sea north of the Yemeni city of Al Hudaida. Safer has been corroding for years, with no maintenance to keep it from exploding and spilling gallons of oil into the sea. But the UN has undertaken a mammoth task of transferring oil from this rotting tanker. In the absence of anyone else willing or able to perform this task, the United Nations stepped up and assumed the risk to conduct this very delicate operation. The ship-to-ship -ship transfer of oil, which has started today, is the critical next step in avoiding an environmental and humanitarian catastrophe on a colossal scale. The operation, though long overdue, is a complex one. Yemen's Houthi rebels, who control the coastal region, had suspended maintenance work since they seized the area in 2015. In November 2020, after long negotiations, the Houthis agreed to allow UN to secure the tanker and salvage it. In May this year, a crew of experts worked to make oil transfer a secure process. After almost two months of preparation, the transfer process began on the 25th of July. Experts say the procedure to shift 1.12 million barrels of oil is expected to take 19 days to complete. This is the first time the UN has undertaken a mission of this nature. But the stakes were too high for the international body to not step in. Officials have been warning of the risks of oil spills for years now. It is feared that the safer tanker could spill four times as much oil as the 1989 Exxon Valdez disaster near Alaska. And the cost of cleanup would be monstrous, 20 billion US dollars. Not to forget, an oil spill of this magnitude could spell disaster, wiping out the world's largest marine ecosystem. Primary security threats have been fully mitigated in this case. Um, the, the primary issue, of course, is that this is a country still at war, um, uh, civil war, but also within the region. And that causes a great deal of distrust and a lot of more uh, scrutiny from a security point of view. The UN has so far raised 123 million US dollars to seeing this operation through. But once the transfer is complete, a few complications still cloud this issue. One, oil residue in the safer vessel still has the potential to cause large scale damage if it explodes before it can be safely scrapped and transported away. Two, it is yet undecided if and when the oil will be sold and who can be the potential buyer. <laughs>